Hello, it's me, Bree. Um, I took a little poll on Instagram asking if anybody wanted to see a tour of my diamond painting cart and it was overwhelmingly yes. Um, so this is that video. Um, okay, so I will start at the top since that's what we're currently looking at. Right now, I will like back up just a bit. And I'm sorry that this is going to be very shaky. I'm holding it with my hands. Um, so I have, I have multiple of these craft cards there. I got mine at Michael's. They do have them located or available at places like Ikea. Um, the container store, I have seen some. Michael's and Target, I believe, also has some. Um, but my craft cards are from Michael's. I have another one that used to be my craft card for my diamond painting, but diamond painting has kind of taken off <laughs> with me. And so I moved all of my like um, stationary planner things onto the smaller cart and moved all of my diamond painting stuff onto this bigger cart. It's longer than the purple one over here. That one's like the standard size and this one is a little bit bigger. So we'll start with the top. Um, and I really am going to try to not be so shaky. So I have um, my current kit kitted up. I use, I really like the, um, the like the larger Tic Tac containers. Um, I just really like how the stickers fit on it almost perfectly. You can, oops, I'm trying to look at my camera and on here. So I use the larger Tic Tac containers. I got them off of Amazon. Um, I will try to link them if I can remember to do so. This is my third video, um, so I'm not really completely sure on how to do all the links and everything like that. Um, but okay, so I got, I used the larger Tic Tac containers. I have smaller ones too if I have um, a pretty large kit and it has like a small amount. Like some of these, you know, oops, that's not a lot. So I could have gotten away with the smaller one, but I really like these ones just because the sticker fits on there perfectly for me. Um, and then I have gotten questions about the storage that I use um, to put these on. I don't keep them in the like plastic container that they shipped in. Um, I use this, which is a, I don't, actually know what this is for oh it's for nail polish um it's a stand for nail polish I got it off Amazon as well I will also link that I will link what I can and hopefully I will remember um and then these ones don't fit on here so I only have like that much space so the ones that I chose to not go on that stand were the ABs that were in the kit so all, all the ABs are on here and then all of the like neutral like oh goodness sorry about that um like the blacks the dark brown or dark dark gray um some browns just like the neutral colors that's not there's not very many of in this kit um and this is I have tried a lot of storage kits um of how to kit up i have the elizabeth ward storage and they just they hurt my hands way too much to continue to use those i really do like the way that they look um however they just they hurt my hands too much to keep opening them i end up using like um tweezers to open them but these are really easy to open um these are kind of just like hit and miss. They're cheap, so sometimes, like I have a couple on here. Um, I know, I think it's this one, this one. I don't know, it's one, of, here it is. This one, see how the lid doesn't stay on very well? So you'll get a couple of, I guess, duds in the 
in the case where the lid does not stay on. Like this one, if I lifted this up and I forgot or I didn't realize, I could have a problem where my drills just fall out everywhere. So, you know, I, I can deal with it as long as I remember to pick them up carefully. All right, so moving on, um, this is... This is a trash tray that I got from Crystal's Trays. She's based in Canada. Um, I really like it a lot. I have one of her drill trays that I like as well, um, but I don't really use it very often. I use this all the time, like every single time. I place it on my canvas with me, um, and you know, every once in a while I find like that trash drill, so I just put it in there. And then, um, I have this yogurt jar. I just, effort, this is where I was like, I am putting like my trash drills in here as well. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm different, you guys. Okay. <laughs> um, so then I have this container. I got it at either Home Goods or TJ Maxx. I'm not sure, but I, I go there pretty often since I have one near my house. Um, the smaller little container cup thing. I just have my tweezers. Um, this one has washi on the end of it because this is the one that I deemed that I like the most. <laughs> and, you know, they all look the same. So, um, and then I have this that I use. This is the um, straightener. And then I have scissors and a cutter and a couple pens and a nail file. Okay. Um, then... I got this is just it just attaches it has like these clips on them so it just attaches onto your cart like that and this is where I store my pens that I have right now um, this one was my very very first drill pen that I got and it is from Jim's Handmade, I think it's called. If if you know, you know. <laughs> Jim's, you you just know that like he has a lot to offer. There's a lot um, in his shop. This one is also from Jim's. Um, to be honest, I got this one off of a buy sell trade um, de-stashing page, and it's just it's so pretty. I really like it a lot. Um, and then this one was my next one. This one is from my BFF, I believe. And I saw it and I was like, I need to have it. So I got it. It's a lot thinner than like a Jim's pen, um, but I really like the way it looks. It's so pretty with all the holographic. Um, and then I got this one was this one's from Butterfly Effects, and right now this is like my current favorite. It's a mini regular, and it just fits in my hand so perfectly, and it's really easy to like turn. Um, but yeah, I really like this one a lot. This one's my favorite. And then I have my little tiny from, oh God, says plus um <laughs> don't come at me okay I cannot say it um but I really like this one it was one of those right to buy um things on in on their Facebook page um where you just like put in the the letter and number combo and if you're lucky you get to buy it um Okay, so moving on, I have another storage area, like acrylic case here. Um, what this has in here, or we'll start from the back and move our way up. So I have the wooden tray um, from Amazon, and honestly, like it's really cute and it's pretty. It has a clear cover on it right now, so if you do have drills in it, it won't spill out. But this is basically to use if you are in a confetti-heavy area. 
um, you it's not meant for multi placing this is like strictly single placing so I have that back there I don't oops I don't use it very often and then these are my Muni made trays um, I have five of the small trays and I do have one large one but to be honest I do not use the large one like ever um, I just I really like the small ones I have a lot more control with them and and if I'm also being honest like the white one this one is my favorite one and I will tell you why all of these colors I can see on white with the exception of a pure white drill um, I'm hoping to get a black tray for colors like that so I do use the small trays and I do love having the stopper on it and to be honest I don't really I have um, I have three of the lids I don't really use them very often I don't I don't I'm not a person that can use like multiple drills and have them all sitting out at the same time because I've tried that and mistakes were mis mistakes were done had been <laughs> um there are two like I've done it twice now and I was like nope you know what I'm just like a one color at a time kind of person um, I cannot do multiple colors at one time because I dumped them in the wrong container so how annoying would that be if I had this color and dumped them all in here like look at how closely in color they are and to figure out or having to try to um, sort all those out that would I would cry <laughs> okay so next is my area um, of waxes and um, stuff like that so on top so okay first I have a roll of micro dots glue dots I use these exclusively in my single placers I always use um, a metal tip I I don't like the brass tips they always bend on me I I must be a very hard presser even though I feel like with the glue dots I don't have to be a hard presser but anyways um I only use the glue dots in a single placer tip um, I have some washi I don't really use washi on my canvases very often I used to but I have since just not bothered um, I haven't really noticed a difference, to be honest. Um, next is, so I have this sitting on top because I do use the super sticky patty wax in my multi-placer. And to be honest, I have, let's see if I can do this one-handed. I bet I can't. Oh my gosh, it's too hard to open for me to do it by one hand. But I have um, super sticky in here, which is what comes in this tin. And then I also have a, um, a square of a scented putty in there as well. And I just swap between the two. But I use this for my multi-placing. Um, and then I do have like, a, I have this little container of um, the pink waxes. You know, sometimes I don't want to use the super sticky. It Sometimes it will start leaving residue on my drills and then I start to get a little bit like, oh God, I don't want to, I don't want to use this. So I'll pull it out and I'll use pink wax. And to be honest, there's nothing wrong with the pink wax. Like I don't have issues with it. I'll use it in my multi-placer and I can use it for like a good hour or so before I feel like I have to, um, replace that so that's my container of pink waxes and then I have another container the same type of container but it has other things in it so I have let's see this I think I can yeah I have um this wax which is, it smells amazing. It's from Pretty Placers. Oh, which I have a, I have a Pretty Placer crayon that I use for ABs. Like this is all I use it for now and I keep it in the little box. 
it's the only thing that I have found that doesn't take the sparkle off of the ABs, um, the coating off the ABs, and it doesn't leave a residue on the ABs for some reason. So I have this, it's from Pretty Placers. Um, they're on Etsy. And then this is a container of putty from, it's um, by Gorilla Glue. It's the Gorilla Putty. I really like this putty a lot when I, I'm in the mood to use a putty. Um, it lasts for a really long time and it doesn't like squish out the sides and I haven't had any issues of it getting onto my canvas. Um, and then this is Jump Tack from Crystal's Trays. It's, um, it's good. I like it. The smell is very mild. It has some like mica powder added to it, I believe. Um, it does like wear off pretty quickly to me, it seems like. Um, okay. And then here's more of the like Gorilla Glue putty stuff. Um, and then this is from Patty Wax. It, I cut it in half to share with a friend. Um, I don't use the candy apple very often. This one is like very strong smelling and um, I can only get by with this one for so long, but I do keep it in there for when I'm feeling like using some candy apple patty wax. <laughs> Um, okay, so that is these little containers, um, <laughs> those little, these little plastic containers I got at Michael's, like, a while ago. So, don't worry about my dog's weird sounds. So then I have, um, these little jars have just, like, some special like crystals I think I don't remember where this is from it doesn't have a tag or anything but these little jars I got them at the Dollar Tree um they're they came in a pack of like four for a dollar and I just put in there um like any special drills that I have either left over or that I got in a sample um if you've purchased with Muni made before you know you have gotten um let's see if it will focus go um you get you get a little sample from a company that she gets some ex or like specialty drills from um which is called i can't remember right now but i know i have a business card in, in this cart somewhere okay and then the kit that i'm currently working on these are just extra um drills that i that didn't fit in the container so i just keep them in their bags right here until i'm ready to refill that all right, so, oh, and this is also, it's a cover minder from Patty Wax. It has um, super sticky in it, and I don't really use cover minders, but I think they're cute, so it's on my cart, and these are um, from Diamond Art Club in the new toolkits, and I just put those on here as well. Like I said, I don't use cover minders. I don't feel like I have a need for them, so they go on my cart. All right, next shelf. So this is a wireless uh, Bluetooth keyboard that I use to um, just type on my iPad when I need to type that so it doesn't take me as long. Um, and then I have this little, I'm sorry that's so bouncy. I know that's annoying. Um, this little three tier storage compartment. In the top one are my release papers that I use for uh, my kits. This one is has like my roller to roll over the canvas. Here's that, um, there's a sticker of a dog in there. Um, shimmering canvases, that's where those drills are co they come from. So. It's a freebie from Unimade. They usually will come in orders when you order it. And then this drawer, it's really hard to get into unless I pull the whole thing out. But I have a measuring tape in here, um, a funnel, some extra baggies, a 
toothbrush to brush off any residue from waxes and this is um, the diamond dots glue so if there's a spot on my canvas that's not very sticky I'll just rub a little bit of that on there to make it sticky again um, this container is the same as above and then I just have I have a I have a uh, pen in here that I purchased a few weeks ago and I tried it out. It's really pretty. Focus, focus. Okay, it does not want to focus. I think it's because there's so much behind. There we go. It's really pretty, but the thing is, is like with my fibromyalgia, it, the bottom part, it's so thin up here and then up here, it, it's a little bit uncomfortable for me to hold. Um, so I want to rehome this if you're watching and you're interested and you're just send me a message. Um, Instagram is the best place to send me a message, but yeah, if you're interested, it will come with, um, a regular brass tip and, um, uh, multi-placer. I can find a multi-placer. I have tons of them, so I can add those in there, but, and that's just sitting in there. So hopefully I can rehome it. And then this is the kit that I'm currently working on. And then I have this little container. This is the box that um, shoot, Harbor Freight stuff comes in, but my Harbor Freight containers are somewhere else right now. Um, oops. So in here, I just have, I have extra metal tips. I have one of these trays. I don't ever use it. I have the large Muni made tray, which I don't really use. And then uh, the Gorilla Glue mounting putty. This is the stuff I was talking about. Um, and then I have a measuring tape, like a different measuring tape in there. So that's just got like kind of random stuff in that. All right, and then over here I have, um, what kit is this? I think it's Gator Swamp or Swamp Gator. It's from Diamond Art Club, of course, but um, I have it just sitting there. And then we'll go to the bottom. So the bottom is kind of a mishmash of stuff. First, here is one of the Elizabeth Ward um trays with the with the stuff um the stuff the drills in it it's for that randall Spring spangler um and like i said it's not my favorite storage solution but that's what i had at the time and that one has just kind of been on hold i'm almost done with it i should just finish it and get it i, I really want to like windle down my works in progress is that I have going right now. So I have that down there. I have um, a container of, oopsie, sanitizing alcohol wipes. I just like to wipe down pretty frequently. Um, and then this is just a basket that I got at Target and it has a bunch of like randomness in it. <laughs> so in here I have like this is a bunch of um, squishies that I just put in there. And then this is a pen case and it's meant for like fountain pens or whatever. It's kind of like a hard cover case. But if I'm traveling anywhere and I'm taking a diamond painting, I'll put my acry acrylic um, diamond painting pens in here to keep them safe. This is, oops. Don't be looking at that. Um, this is what one of my diamond painting pens came in. And I'm planning on just reusing that. I have some scotch tape in here. Um, a notepad. A ruler. There's some re a release paper. Um, the, chops the crafting chopsticks. So you just kind of put them on your fingers like this and you can yeah. be diamond painting and then you can go and get a snack and you don't have to get your fingers dirty. <laughs> I have used it a few times, to be honest. Um, 
some stickers. This is my Diamond Pain journal, which has um, like kits that I have and things. Oh, goodness. So it's just a dot grid notebook and I just have like my, my journal in there that either I completed the kits or whatever. Um, and that and here's the tray from Crystal Trays. I do use it, just not very often, as you can see, since it's in this in this box. Um, a random toolkit that hasn't been opened, and some extra containers and some random diamonds down there. But yeah, that's everything. Let's put everything back in here. That is everything on my, um, oh God, sorry. I don't want to make anyone sick. Um, that's everything that is on my diamond painting craft kit. Cart, craft cart. <laughs> um, tell me what you use to contain all of your stuff down below. And um, did you find any inspiration from looking or taking this tour on my craft cart? Um, if so, tell me what you like down below as well. And um, if you have anything special that you do for your craft cart, let me know. Um, I, I always love these types of videos of watching how people like store their things and, and um, how it works for them. All right, so until next time, bye.